Bulabinaka and greetings. Small island developing states have in common existing challenges such as uh, isolation from global markets, vulnerability to climate change, and fragile natural environments. In the fast-paced landscape of technical development, digitalization has the potential to unlock employment opportunities, bridge the rural divide, and empower youth and women. For smallholders and farming communities, this can mean access to information that can help with productivity and reaching new or untapped markets. Technology can help overcome borders and geographical remoteness. The Small Island Developing State Solutions Forum is an opportunity and an invitation to bring people from SIDS and other regions together to discuss and share digital solutions which can help producers to improve how they work and even better improve their lives. As Pacific Islanders, we're brought up with strong values of our communities and environments. In Fijian, we refer to this as the Venor, which encompasses our land, air and sea spaces and sees us, the people, as custodians of this. We seek to integrate economic development of remote communities with environmental sustainability and our cultural values. We currently do this by leveraging cloud-based technology to build the administrative capacity to connect remote communities with organic certification and organic markets for premium income. It is incredible to use technology in this way as it ensures that the pristine environments of our islands and our home is safeguarded over the long term, whilst also providing some new income and economic opportunities for a brighter future. I became very much aware of the, of the parallel between our, our home planet and, and our spaceship. Um, after all, Earth is also a spaceship um, flying through space with limited resources. Uh, the problems are the same. There's a hostile environment that you have to deal with, limited resources that you have to share. Um, and there's a need to get along you know, among the crew. Uh, and to work together to achieve your goals. Um, so after this mission, when I came back to Earth uh, from this privileged venture point um, that enabled me to, to see so much, I, I was looking for a way to, to take action as the, as the next logical step. Um, I wanted it to be uh, in a scientific manner and, and evidence-driven and fact-driven because I'm a scientist at heart and, and I believe that unbiased science is, is really the way to tackle most of, of today's problems. Um, I wanted it to, to lean on technology, but maybe, but to be human centered, um, because it's like in space exploration, you can achieve a lot with technology only, but, but when the human is your goal, when the human is on board, um, then you really make things change and, and evolve at, at a bigger scale. I want to bring awareness to the fight against food insecurity and hunger, um, and to assist as much as I can to support as much as I can FAO's work on the field. Uh, where it's also, I think, the most needed by the population. So thank you very much for the honor and uh, let's, let's keep on the good work. The Pacific Island Farmer Organizations Network, or PFON for short, is delighted to be part of this very important forum, uh, which involves our colleagues, uh, SIDS colleagues from Africa, uh, Caribbean, and of course, the Pacific. Uh, PFON is already engaged in uh, helping its uh, farmers around the Pacific to use some of this technology. So we look forward to this uh, forum, uh, to the exchange of ideas and technology and success stories. So welcome to our colleagues from Africa and the Caribbean, and uh, I wish you a very successful and productive forum. Thank you. Thank you.